I'm glad. <coughs> now we'll wait for peoples to come. Are you straining tonight? What you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. What'd you do with my glass, my cup, man? Okay. Did you drink mine too? Well, I guess I was trying to because it's it, yeah, <sighs> it was more full. <laughs> <laughs> There's mine over here. Jeez. Sorry about that. All right, here we are in a minute. I think I said nine Eastern. Yeah. Guess I'll be coming. I told him, I told Norm I'd text. So I guess I better text her. All right, I'm going downstairs. Hi, Melody. First one here. Hi, Denise. We're going to have some fun now. Open and happy mail. Norma, 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 there we go. Hi, Eileen. I'm texting Norma real quick. I just didn't want to wait until tomorrow because one, I know Dee Dee um, streams in the morning and then Joycey. And so it was like, ugh. It may be hard. And then this box is going to be sitting here taunting me all day. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Joa. Hi, Linda. And hi, other Linda. Hi, Allie. Um, and Kim. And hey, Ange. Haven't seen you around. Are you going to get those ATCs in the mail, you little pain in the neck? Hi, Sharon. Hi, CB. I'm going to get my pop-out chat here. Okay, I'm trying to revive Robert's reputation. I went ahead and posted another picture of him when he doesn't dress himself. Um, cracks me up. Yeah, Norma will be here any minute. She got my text, so. Hi, Jean. Hi, Zeely. Hi, Cindy. I know, I know, major pain. You are a major pain. You cannot deny that. But I'm glad you're happy, and I'm glad things are going well. So I'm going to cut you some slack here. Because what can I do? I can just sit here and um, whine a lot. Robert has great legs. He does have good legs. But if you watched him walk, you guys, hi, Norma. She's here. We can proceed now. Um, he's so bow-legged. <laughs> Oh, God, if you could have been with us today in Joplin, getting new glasses. A man who can dress like you saw him yesterday. And honestly, picking out glasses today, it took him, oh, my God. He was out looking while I was getting my eyes tested, which took probably 30, 40 minutes, right? He still was at it when I came out. I bet it took him over an hour to pick out glasses. It was like, come on, dude. Do you want me to remind you what you looked like yesterday? <laughs> okay, and I'm just giving you a rash of crap. You don't have to pay any attention to me. Funny. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, we're here to do happy mail because I didn't want to wait till tomorrow because tomorrow is just too long to wait and I needed a good night's sleep. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, there are a lot of hellos. So anyway, look at the postage on this. Don't you hate the postage service? Ugh. But Norma, thank you. Thank you. I will say thank you a million times. So, but look at how pretty the box is. I don't know what that is. I guess it's, it's tape. It's really pretty though. So, yeah, 
what a funny day it was. It really was. And the poor guy who was helping us with our glasses, I felt sorry for him. Yeah, Norma sends great packages. You can say that again. That's like the understatement of the world. Oh, my God. This thing is packed. It's packed. Oops, there's more addresses. So, yeah, we'll have to just keep that out of the camera. She's a dreamer, a doer, a thinker. She sees possibility everywhere. Good vibes only. So these I'll have to pry off the box and put in the beast. Thank you, Janet. You're thanking me. Are you nuts? You're nuts. Hi, Zandra. So we'll open the card first. And there's a pen. <laughs> pen. Oh, and I went to Hobby Lobby today, too. But I didn't buy anything really fun. You should see that. Yeah, she, I, I was there to watch Dee Dee's. Dee Dee got a great box just like this one. Oh, my God. That's so cute. God has a great plan. If that isn't the truth, I don't know what is. It's got stitching on it. I could get my sewing machine out and sew paper because I certainly don't sew anything else with it. Oh, look at the top is a pen. <laughs> I know. I'm going to flip it over and read the, um, the message. Um, Oh, she says, Hi, do, I hope you don't mind if I read it. I just will. Hope you enjoy the happy mail. Sending this is another thank you for your live streams and chat. I so enjoy your shows and videos. You and Eileen make me laugh and lighten my day. So thankful for that. With love in Christ, Norma. Thank you so much, Norma. Um, you know, and if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't do it. I mean, Eileen and I give each other crap whether we were on camera or not, but it's fun to do it. Because of all the things I get comments about on YouTube, it's Eileen. I'm not kidding. And a pen. Oh, oh, this feels good. Let's see what the note says. It's a trick. <laughs> oh, wow, that's pretty. Oh, and it's got her logo on it. And it's like, is that lit up? It looks like it's lit up, you guys. Can you see that? Look at the logo and stuff for Branson Limo, which um, actually she does have a limousine service in Branson, Missouri. So someday I will be there. Now you have my pen address, a stylus, and a nightlight. Does light up. I thought it was lighting up. Cool. Now this is cool. Oh, I'm going to so taunt Robert with this. I'm going to say, look at my pen. You can't even touch it. I'll let him look at it, but I won't let him touch it. This is exactly the kind of pen he would want. <laughs> I have a glowing pen. <laughs> Push the soft end and it goes off and on. Oh, then now I shall check that bad boy out. Oh, that's awesome. I can hardly wait. Oh. Hope you enjoy this book. It reminds me of the Wreck This Journal. Oh, boy. Start where you are. This is a journal for self-exploration. Do, do I need to do self-exploration? Oh, my gosh. Who is going to? It's who is going to stop me. Oh, neat. It's got really cool quotes. What I want to do, what others will think, what others will do about it. That sounds like a stream coming up. Dismiss whatever insults your own soul. Think of three ideas that you fundamentally disagree with, ideas that hurt your spirit and are harmful to your well-being. Write them down on three separate pieces of paper and then rip them up. Cool. Things I want to be, why I want to be them. Well, you guys, okay, we're going to do a test right now. What is the number one thing I want to be? And somebody in chat will get it. No need to hurry. No need to sparkle. No need to be anyone but oneself. Oh, I love these quotes. Go outside and focus on the clouds, trees, or breeze. Close your eyes and lift yourself out of your own 
feet. Let your thoughts wander on their own. How do you feel? Write about it here. Well, this is like a journey in self-exploration. Choose one of the different experiences you listed and meditate on it. Only in darkness can you see the stars. That's one of my absolute favorite. Oh, I need to move this box so you guys can see better. Sorry. I'm just so thoughtless because I'm excited. All right. Is that better? Now you can see. I'll adjust the camera a little bit. The queen or at least a princess. Boy, does CB know me. <laughs> that is exactly number one on the list. I would love to be queen, but if I can't be a queen, I want to be a princess. And I want all the trappings. You want to be a flamingo. <laughs> so you're moving again, and Amber and I will start streaming together. What do you guys think? I think it's your world, and you get to do what you want. Real courage is when you know you're licked before you begin, but you begin anyway and see it through no matter what. Oh, these are so cool. And I like the illustrations, like that bird there. Is that not cool? List four times you continued to try, even though the odds were against you. Oh, this is going to be fun, Norma. Thank you. It is never too late to be what you might have been. That is one of my absolute all-time favorite quotes. George Eliot. And if you didn't know, George Eliot was actually a um, pseudonym for a woman. Her name was Mary, I believe. Oh, cool, Angela. And I don't feel like I can create Andrew group if you do what you want. Exactly. See, I, I'm not in a position. I don't pay your bills. So it's, I have, I can have no opinion at all. I could give you advice, but take it for what it's worth, for what you paid for it. Things I think it's too late for. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Yeah. See, I, it's never too late because Georgia O'Keeffe did not become an artist until she was in her 60s. So there's still hope for me. Step I can take to move forward. I have no special talents. I am only passionately curious. Albert Einstein. Daddy. My daddy wrote that. Things that excite me. Pens. <laughs> We're writing that down number one right now. Pens that light up. And glow in the dark. Hello. And the second one, since we've already discussed it, would be tiaras. With diamonds. Not fake ones. There. Yeah, the co quotes are awesome. And more pens, and more pens, and more pens. Exactly. If you ever find yourself in the wrong story, leave. What is something you wish you could leave behind? Mm. <laughs> Those cut off overalls Robert had on yesterday. <laughs> if you want to build a ship, don't drum up people to collect wood and don't assign them. Um, I'm still, my eyes are still dilated, so I'm having a hard time reading tasks and work, but rather teach them to long for the endless immensity of the sea. Well, isn't that profound? My passions, goals that encompass them. Courage, dear heart, C.S. Lewis. Breathe in and out deeply eight times. Let your mind clear, move forward. That's great advice too. Fears are paper tigers. Fill these tigers outlines in with three of your biggest fears and color them in until you can't see the fear anymore. Oddly enough, um, I think as you get older, you have less fear. What a smexy beast. You can tell. I told him that, Galena, already. There's a quote for you, Angie. If you ever find yourself in the wrong story, leave. Yep. 
There you go. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, Amazon will definitely be selling out of this book. You get to decide what to worship. This is true. Circle the things you worship most. I don't know. I would have, this is going to take some thought. And Norma, I will absolutely do these things. I really will because I like self-exploration. Um, I like becoming a better me. Sadly, it, sometimes I've failed, but I'd like to think I'm a better me than I was when I was 20. The wound is the place where the light enters you. Hmm. Wow. This is awesome. I love this. And if anybody wants to see more of it, I'll just flip through it quickly because I could spend all night doing just this. Look, there's Mappage, Coloring This World Map with the 10 places you plan to visit. The only one I could absolutely mark on here with complete certainty is Boca Raton, Florida, Branson, Missouri, and Norway. I've already been almost in all the Canadian provinces, Alaska. Um, I have not been on the eastern seaboard in Canada and none of the other continents other than Australia. I'd like to go to Greenland, though, too. I think that is sounds like a cool place, but I don't like the cold. A wise man loses nothing if he but save himself. What is, what if, think of something you lost recently. What are two positive insights you gained from the experience? Well, my toy journal, Branson for sure. Yeah, that's not going to be in the too distant future, Norma. Um, you need to come, you know, and I have been all over um, Canada from Quebec in every province west of there. I've been in the Northwest Territories. I've been in Yukon Territories. Um, my absolutely favorite, and, and I haven't been on the Eastern part, so keep that in mind. My favorite part was, um, Vic Victoria, um, and Vancouver Island. I love the whole Western, um, Prince Rupert, all of it. I loved all of it. We must always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. Now, this is something I would like to do in watercolor. Um, do the the lettering um, in masking and then paint around it and then take the masking off. That would be awesome. Ah, oh, this is um this is awesome. And Norma, the next time, well, now I'm making a huge assumption that there will be a next time. But if you ever give me, if anybody, any of you ever give me a book. I really like inscriptions on my books, who gave it to me, the date, um, whatever. So when I come to Branson, I'm going to bring this and you will have to inscribe it for me because I like my books, if they're given to me, to be inscribed. But thank you. I love that. I can already wait to start that. That's a great gift, too, I think, for anybody. All right. That's going to spill if I don't move it. All right. Next up. Scraps of jelly plate images, image transfers, and painting papers for collage. I'm going to do more collage, I guess. I love your um, image transfers. You've really figured out how to do that. I've never even attempted it. Hi, Carrie Ann. And anybody else I've missed, I know I've missed people because I'm so excited. Look at these. You have really kicked butt on these. I wish you streamed so you could show us how you're doing them. These will be good backgrounds. That looks like a, a wanted poster. <laughs> Took lots of practice. I can believe that. Yeah, look at this one. These are all upside down, I think. Wine bottles. What kind of paper are you using, Norma? This feels like regular cardstock. This does not. Is that just black cardstock? 
was painted black. I can tell that. I don't know. I guess it's all different kinds. They're cool. Very, very cool. Can you guys see them okay? Yes, yeah, see, I, I'll have to do some art journal pages to use the collage stuffs for sure. This one's cool. That is very cool. Mom and Dad. Oh, Robert. <laughs> it's card stock and watercolor paper. Okay. Because, yeah, the black stuff, it just felt so different. It almost, I don't know, it just felt like it had a different finish. Mon Pa Kettle. If I wore dresses, that could be me and Rob. Look at, I just mentioned George O'Keefe. This is May 26th to September 3rd. Did that just end? I think that just ended. If I'd known it was over at Crystal Bridges, I would have gone. I guess I need to subscribe to their website. Hmm. And old photos. Ooh, I love that one. I woke you up. I'm sorry, Dorothy. Does he have on black socks? Well, of course you have to wear your dad's socks with your shorts. Duh. <laughs> Golly. Where'd you get these, Norma? Union Station, Denver, Colorado. Did you know that I'm from Denver, Norma? Because I was going to say, boy, that looks familiar. This is Italy. These are love photos. Florence, Italy. Where was the first one? Ashland, Oregon. That Denver, Colorado one is awesome. I don't know if you even knew that. These are just scrap pieces. Well, these I can share. Check it out. And that looks George O'Keefe, yep. My friend Elaine has a beautiful, beautiful um, George O'Keefe book, monkey stickers. <laughs> these are awesome. I don't have these. Check it out. He's cute. And these I've seen. I have some of those. Silly monkey. Oh, thank you so much. And bicycles. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to share my stuff. I will never be a well-behaved woman. Out of the way, I have my sassy britches on. Cancel my subscription. I don't need your issues. I like that one. If it doesn't make you feel fabulous, don't do it. Don't buy it. Don't keep it. Caution. Mood swings in progress. Yep, I'm from Denver. I lived in Denver until I was age, what, 40? Mostly, well, the, I lived in Boulder, actually. But I grew up in Lakewood right outside Denver. Mostly I just sit around all day being fabulous. This is absolutely the truth. That's me. I know Eileen wants to think that's her, but I'm pretty sure it's me. Don't give me attitude. I already have it. I'm not arguing. I'm just explaining why I'm right. I can hardly wait to regret this. I'm a bad influence, but damn, I'm fun. <laughs> I get two of those, so I might have to share one of those. I always behave, just not necessarily well. Pretending I'm a pleasant person is exhausting. That is the absolute truth. Oh, really? You know what that sounds like? Not my problem. I'm an acquired taste. If you don't like me, acquire some taste. <laughs> I don't like morning people or mornings or people. That's true, too. Brain has too many tabs open. I will never be a well-behaved woman. Ugh, people. Ask my kids. They know everything. Change for no one and believe in who you are. You sent two of each of these, so that's cool. I can share them. I want you to know that someone out there cares. Not me, but someone does. Stable is a place where horrible horses live. Everyone was thinking it. I just said it. That's true, too. 
Please come again when you can't stay so long. Be you. The world will adjust. Those are great. You grew up in Colorado Springs. My son still lives in Monument. <clears throat> that was a fun envelope of stuff. Awesome stuff. I'm going to put it back away. This is so much fun. I'm so glad I didn't wait. I mean, I could have gone and plopped my wide load out on the couch, but now I'm glad I'm doing this. Um, I have seen some of them, but I don't think I have any of those. I have one set, and I think Eileen sent it to me, actually. Or I bought it. I don't remember. <gasps> Look at what I got. Oh, this definitely, I'm hiding from the rat. I really am. 72% cocoa, dark chocolate, 60% cocoa, dark chocolate, 60% dark chocolate. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely not sharing with the rat. Definitely not. Maybe I might. I doubt it. I'm just barely into the box. Just barely. There's still more to come. Oh, my gosh. And she sent me more jewelry. Here comes the bling, ladies. Look at this. I think some of this I might be able to wear. I don't know if you guys know. I think I've told you I'm metal sensitive. So that's why you don't see rings or anything on me. I don't wear metal. I'll wear necklaces if. I've got a bad floater in my left eye um, that drives me absolutely crazy, but she thinks it's going to get better. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. And you made this, right, Norma? You make all of these. And she just, these are split rings that she added on there for extra decoration. How gorgeous is that? This I can probably wear. Um, because of the cords, it's got a little metal back here, but I could probably tolerate that. And what happens is I just break out and start itching. I know her jewelry is amazing, amazing. It's so pretty. Turquoise. Yeah, it's a, it really is, Norma. It's so pretty. Who wouldn't love that? This I can definitely wear because the beads that would touch my skin aren't metal. So I just have to be careful is all, or a short time is what it is. If we go out, I can wear my rings. Cover them metal at the back of the neck with a couple layers of clear nail polish. You know, I've tried that, Jean. Um, and, and for a short time, I'm sure it would help. Um, but not for my rings and stuff as soon as I put them on or earrings or anything like that. Mm -mm. No, I have to have 100% gold. Oh, my gosh. These are so pretty. Pink. Eileen, they're pink. Let me see if I turn that off. Yep, that's definitely going to help you guys. They're so pretty. Covered in metal. Okay. Um, she does, I believe, sell her stuff. And I don't know if you want your email to be shown, Norma. And now that's a little late. If you don't want it shown, I will um, edit this. Um, so tell me right now so I know if I need to edit it um, immediately tonight. Those are so pretty. But I believe she does. Have you tried sterling silver? Um, yeah, if I use um, 18 karat gold or better, then I can wear it. And I'm sure sterling silver would be fine. But I, yeah, I don't have much sterling silver. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. They're so pretty, Norma.
You have flower arranging all day tomorrow and Thursday. I'm hoping they come um, work up with me on my bathroom tomorrow. I'm just about ready to get that done because it's already been torn up long enough. For real. Put this one. And look at these cute little bags she puts them in. I'm waiting for Norma. It's okay. I'm working on my Etsy shop. Nothing in there yet. Okay. All right. Um, but yeah, my guess is if you contact Norma, she would, I'm sure, work with you on getting some jewelry out if you want it. That is just gorgeous. I do love this. So I will figure out a way to make this one work. Absolutely. I love it all, though. I really do love it all. And these bags are fun. So if you guys are nice, I might share. But never mind. I don't think you're very nice. Not true. Pile of stuff. Oh, I got to put this back on it. Otherwise, it all ends up in a pile, a big mess. And then I'll go to bed and leave it that way. There we go. And if you're a subscriber and you've seen the jewelry and you would like to get a hold of Norma, leave me a message. And um, I will make sure that you get the... Um, Email or some way to contact Norma if you don't know how to get a hold of her. Eileen says, I can only wear pure gold and the Hope Diamond. <laughs> you are a cuckoo head. India ink pen, that's cool. You can never have too many India ink pens, that's for darn sure. What, hey, Galena, what did you end up doing? I didn't see Charlie Brown when I got home. Did you end up inking him? Oh, my gosh. We're about halfway down the box, you guys, is all. Creative Escapes coloring folio with colored pencils and tablet. Cool. Where do you find all this stuff? You must have better places to shop than I did or than I do. Isn't this a cool little thing? My niece would love this one, the sugar skull. She loves sugar skulls. These are doable. They're just the right size. These are doable. Oh, you're not done yet? Okay. I thought maybe I missed something. And I, I didn't go very far back in Twitter before I decided to stream. And I had to get groceries put away and blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a cool fish. How cute. Awesome. And then on this side, there's Crayola colored pencils. But isn't that a cool little thing? Love it. Thank you. Somebody else. Hmm. Just look in here. This is a Crayola product, but it makes me think. Yeah, it is a Crayola product. It's got a logo. I just didn't see it. I say that's got to be Crayola. All right, here we go. Little ephemera. Coupons. Time Traveler. Silver Dollar City. Little postcards. A suitcase. A compass. Camera. Cafe Hotel, Shanghai, China. I wonder where you find this stuff. Oh, I like that one. Northwest Airlines. 
Was there ever such a Northwest, such an airline? Steal your dollar city. Silver dollar city. You want to steal that? Melody. It is cool. It's very cool. Looks very steampunk. Hotel Espana, Espana. Hotel America. Cool ephemera. The Ambassador, Los Angeles. Northwest Airlines Incorporated. I guess there was a Northwest. I just don't remember. E&O e Hotel. Penang. Got to be Oriental. Pennsylvania Central. I wonder if there was one of those, too. Cool ephemera. Cool, cool ephemera. You have a ton of stuff, Norma. They'll find their way into the beast. And washi tape. Glamour girl. I don't know what it says. This is Warshi, Colleen. Um, busy but cute. Hello. She picked out the perfect one for me. It is steampunk. The themed roller coaster at Silver Dollar City in Branson. Brand new. Costs 13 million. Robert and I love roller coasters. So, yeah, we might have to go there. We took his grandkids there. And we all rode that roller coaster over and over. Cool. Bling. I'm just taking the um, tissue paper off. Oh, this is some of that cool bubble wrap that Dee showed yesterday. That is cool. I've never seen that bubble wrap that has design on it. That is way cool. New thing. Never saw it before. Oh, I was hoping you included one of these. Oh my God. Is that not gorgeous? Pores are just amazing. Sorry. I can see it really, really good. Look at that. Can you guys see that black, the way it swirled in there? I'm assuming, Norma, that you use the a needle or something, that black paint in there. Look at that, you guys. That's just unbelievable. And the frame is gorgeous. That is so cool. And I love the colors. I know. Make a bubble wrap cover, you think? That is just amazing. Okay. Abstract flowers, acrylic paint on canvas fabric 2018. Pour puddle painting and blown with a straw. I can see where it's been blown. That It's just, this is very intriguing to me. The whole pour thing. Um, I just, I don't think I can make that mess. Manipulated with a wood stick. Okay. Yeah. Cause the, I mean, just that the black moving in there is just so amazingly cool. I'm not sure where I'm going to hang it yet, but that will definitely go somewhere. Absolutely will. Maybe in this room. In fact, probably right behind me. Thank you. That is so gorgeous. I love acrylic pours. So when it comes to acrylic pours and jelly plate transfers, Norma is kicking ass and taking names. For real. I'm not even going to rewrap that because, yeah, that's going to stay right here. There will be a nail in the wall tomorrow for sure. Inner practice art. 
I think you meant interactive art piece using that bubble wrap, stress reducing interactive. Yeah, really pop, 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 pop. Northwest Airlines was a Minnesota Airlines. Hi, Darla. And merged with Delta a number of years ago. Well, now see, I learned something. I do. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. And I know everybody who walks in here will think it's gorgeous. Okay, now we're getting down to the bottom. So I'm going to have to move this over here. Oh, uh, this is cool. All right, the bottom has magazines. Branson 2018 Vacation Guide. I usually always pick one of these up when I'm over there. Um, I love Branson. Love it. Um, and now, um, I'm sure, um, Norma, correct me if I'm wrong, but now it's like non-peak, right? As soon as Labor Day's over, it's non-peak. Um, that's not, I was going to say, that's Eureka Springs. That's not Branson. Um, in fact, Robert and I went someplace here. One of the very first times we ever went out was in Eureka Springs. And we bought some candy. And I bought something else, but I can't remember what. But now it's not peaked, I think. So now you can plan your trip and things to do. Exactly. Now that it's after Labor Day, they're kind of same deal with us. You know, now that Labor Day's over, um, yeah, the real people can enjoy it. <laughs> That's um, downtown next to the river. And the... Um, the really old fashioned five and dime stores down in here. Robert's aunt owned the property that the um, one part of that downtown mall is built on. She owned a lot of that property down there. Robert's family is actually from Missouri. Hatfields and McCoys and the shows, every one of them are awesome. It's a fun place. Uh, if you're going to take a trip, I would say you can't go wrong. Tons to eat. Everything's reasonable price, too. That's the cool thing. Weekends are still pretty busy. Yeah, we would come during the week, I'm sure. Yeah, now that school has started. Yeah. Hi, Lynn. You missed most of the box, but. Um, Yep, I will look through this. I love Branson. And it's only three hours. Bass Pro. We have Bass Pro and also too. I have to look at these. Cool things, Norma. Thank you. Here's some quotes. Tiger Woods. Johnny Morris. No, they're golf people. But another thing I love about Branson is shopping. Um, they have a lot of the outlet malls there. There's a great Tuesday morning there. Um, you miss the little park where the landing is. Yeah, his, his aunt owned that property down there. Yeah, it's going to get prettier um, in the next couple months. After my heart, husband's heart, yeah. Who doesn't love Bass Pro? So how cool is this? Oh, that's neat. Pheasant feathers. It would actually be fun if we were going to plan a second retreat, um, you know, art retreat to do it in Branson because it's kind of center of the country and there's so much to do there. I think Branson would be a great place to do an art retreat because you, not only would you art all day, you could go see a show at night. There's great food. Yeah, it would be awesome. 
So Norma, thank you. I just can't say thank you enough. I love it all so, so much. There's the card. Um, my pen that lights up. I can hardly wait to show that to Robert. That is good for collage fodder. The golf tourney was in April. Okay. Yeah. I'll put it in the collage, collage fodder basket. I do have one of those. I know. Awesome box. Amazing. Just amazing stuff here, Norma. You're so generous, so kind. I can't, I just can't say thank you enough. Look at all this. It's just like never ending happy going on right here. I'll put the notes over there. Look at this. All this cool, cool, cool stuff. And the book. Awesome. Yep. Thumbs up. I love it all. Love, love, love it all. And then while we were in Joplin today, of course, I got my eyes tested and they're not as bad as I thought. Um, I did pick out some new glasses and so did the rat. The rat ended up getting two because he's such a girl. Hi, Josie. Um, I haven't gotten them yet. I did go ahead and order them. Um, but I won't pick them up for two weeks because we're right now the plan is we won't be back for two weeks. So I did go into Hobby Lobby because I had something to return. And um, so I picked up their flyer naturally, and they had all, well, not all of the Master's Touch, but a lot of the Master's Touch art supplies on sale. So I went ahead and got some acrylic paints that I knew I, in colors I knew I would use. So the dark blue, black, burnt sienna, and white, titanium white. And they were 50% off. So like this one, seven bucks, you got all that for $3.50. And I thought, well, it's in the line. It's cheaper than buying craft paint. Did I buy foil? No. I don't even think Hobby Lobby. You were in Joplin today? We were probably in Hobby Lobby. What time were you in Hobby Lobby, Melody? I can't believe you were in Joplin today. Stopped by on the way home from Kansas City. You went to Hobby Lobby too. Oh my God, that's so funny. Did you get any of the um, acrylic paints that they had on sale? You got two of them? Yeah, this was, I think this is a great deal. You know, seven bucks and you get that much paint for what, $3.50? Hello. Good deal. And then the smaller tubes are $3.99, so you get them for two bucks. So I just felt like that was a pretty good deal. And they're colors that I know I'll use. So, um, and then I got two other things. I got, I made the rat go in and buy this book, 101 Textures in Colored Pencil. And I thought it would be fun to do some of these on stream where we do the, the original, the drawing and then it does give you the colors to do. So we could do, and there was one that was uh, like a cat eye like Dee Dee did. But I thought this denim one would be fun because almost anybody could do that and have a great piece of art. Um, but yeah, it's just all different kind of textures, knitting, burlap. So... And Hobby Lobby lets you use 40% off um, on books. So it was $16.95. Um, so what? It ended up being right around 10 bucks. You just bought this book too, Zeely? I love this book. I was so glad that I made the rat go back in and buy it for me. But you get snake skin, elephant, horse mane, Cat eye, that one's going to be awesome to do. I can hardly wait to do this one. The cat eye. 
cat short hair, canine eye, long cat hair. That one looks really fun too. Um, pulled out your drawing on the right side of the brain. Oh, awesome, Lynn. Have you thought about October for this year? Hi, Jennifer. Yes, I have thought about Inktober and I'm going to do um, vintage candy packaging. There's some, I saw that, that there are a whole bunch of others in the series. Yeah, and I thought I could pick up one each time I go. Because 10 bucks, I mean, I think you get a lot of instruction in here for 10 bucks. And each page is, it walks you through from beginning to end um, how to create smooth canine fur, you know. And I think then, you know, you've got the colors to use, you've got the drawing to start with, and then it's just you have to just pull it out yourself. Yeah, this is an awesome, awesome book. And then what really kind of sold me in the end was the lips, the nose, because I do um, drawing some facial features on stream. Um, I'm not going to plan three hours of drawing because I will chase the audience off if I do that. So I thought I would start maybe breaking the stream up into two segments, one drawing and then one doing something else. You know, I don't know. We'll just see. Amazon had the Kindle version for $2.99. Oh, that's awesome. I still like the book because I like to look for it. Here's wavy hair, curly hair, aged skin. Doesn't that look cool? Straight hair, smooth skin. So, yeah, I just thought. Um, and the nice thing about it, all the instruction in this book is done with Prismacolor pencils, So, which we all have or most of us have, I would think by now, but there's clouds, ocean. I mean, there's everything you can do transparent, um, balloons. Yeah. There's some of everything on here in here. So food. So I think, you know, any interest you would find in here, I, I believe that. And I don't know how much of this would transfer to, um, watercolor but your choice of colors definitely I think would be transferable but look at clear glass that one would be awesome but I can zoom in and see better well for you Jean yeah I I forget that you have um limited vision so for you that is a great option um by the way the Loomis book is free pdf on the internet the Loomis book blanket heart Hi, Quilty. Yeah, but anyway, there's the book, Translucent Balloons. So that one I will definitely do. That looks so much fun. Woven Basket. I actually have um, one where I've done a woven basket before. I'll have to pull that out. So, yeah, I was really excited for 10 bucks. That is a good book. And then the other one I bought with my 40% off was how to draw people in simple steps. And I thought, well, for what we're planning on doing on stream here in the next while, this could be. Now, this is a big book. I need to maybe draw it up a little bit because this is a big book. Um, but it's just real basic how to start with some real Basic, if you want to do a flamenco dancer, there you go. And six easy steps, how to do it. And I think we could all, um, drawing heads and hands you showed. Oh, okay, cool. It's free, PDF. Are you kidding? I paid 30 bucks for that freaking book. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you guys. Um... Your book for dummies is on the way. Yay, Sharon. That book, you will not be sorry that you bought it. You will not be sorry at all. But this is all, um, well, it's not all full body, but it's people doing things. Um, and then you get hands, feet. Um, but look at how basic it is, how it gives you, and this is what I was talking about the other day, how it gives you the basic shapes to start with so that you can start using that to ultimately end up with something that looks like a foot. Um, I think most people, when they want to draw 
a hand, you know, and, and Dee Dee would just start drawing the hand. Um, I think if you learn to see things in terms of their shape, um, it's less intimidating. It really is. <clears throat> so, yeah, I thought this was an awesome book. Real basic drawing um, that we could definitely use. Look at the baby feet. Oh, and this book was 1995. I used my 40% off, so do the math, two bucks. So this one was what about eleven bucks? So that's not bad. Got about eight bucks off it, I think. So yeah, I didn't spend a whole lot today. I really didn't. Well, okay, back up the boat. Um, when I say we didn't spend a lot today, oh my god, glasses. Oh, oh, yeah. So by the time we paid, because we don't have vision insurance. By the time we paid for the um, appointment and then ordered the glasses, yeah, break the bank. Break the bank, but they'll last and we need them, so what the hell. For two of us, you know, if we were smart, we probably would spread it out. <laughs> Him go one month, I go the next. But no, we do it all at once. And then dumbass, I mean, Robert, <laughs> has to order two pairs. Yeah, glasses really are outrageous. They really are. Uh, yeah, I could go on and on about that. You know what I don't get? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and go there because um, I am really hard on my um, close-up glasses because they're on and off my face all the time and they hang around my neck. So I am brutal on them. Um, if Dollar Tree can sell you a pair of cheetah glasses for a dollar, why am I paying $159 for the frames? Explain that crap to me because I don't get it because they're all probably made in China anyway. So, yeah. Well, no, the place it went, Eileen, it was, um, you picked out the frames at a certain, you know, you could buy the, the name or the designer frames, whatever, whatever, whatever. The basic lenses came with it. And then they start adding on for everything you do to those lenses. If you do... Um, progressive if you do transition if you you know if you want the better plastic blah 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 and next thing you know you've got like three hundred dollar glasses you know what we did we got robert a pair of glasses online norma they that whole thing was a flipping nightmare i'm not kidding because of his bifocals and all that, it was, if you need single vision, yeah, get them online. But if you, um, if you have bifocals or anything like that, I would not recommend it. Yeah. She said my stigmatism was a little bit worse and you know, your stigmatism can change. I didn't realize that within a year, your stigmatism can get worse or better. Sometimes the stigmatism gets better. So anyway, um, yeah, about five hundred. Yeah, yeah, it was a it was a expensive day. So anyway, wine, wine, wine. We need them. We gotta have them. You know, that's one thing. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't see. I mean, I I I'd like to think that I'm adaptive enough that I could, you know, still enjoy life. But vision to me is so important. Um, I don't want to give up any of my senses, but it would be one of the last ones I would give up. Look at how cute these headshots are. So, yeah, we have materials to work with. So it's not like I didn't have drawing books. Okay, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that was pretty much what I got today. You want to see the Hobby Lobby ad? 
you want to go shop and they did have Christmas stuff today. Um, there was absolutely nothing in clearance. Um, they did have some Tim Holtz stuff on sale, which I didn't even go look at. Yeah, I didn't look at much. I, when I saw the art stuff on sale, I went back and looked at that, and that's why I ended up with this stuff. Um, I wasn't sure about this color here because you can't see the actual color. So let's give this one a whirl and see kind of what the color is. Because I did those um, texture journals. Yeah, that's a good brown. Glad I got that one because I stood there trying to decide which brown. Um, but if you use a lot of acrylic paint, that is really a good deal, you guys. Okay, my 101 textures is downloaded. You got it, Jean. Yay for you. Yeah, good vision is worth it. I know. I bitch about everything. But, um, yeah, you know. And Dee Dee was the one who kind of kicked me in the butt and said, go get your eyes tested. Probably because I bitched to her so much about my vision, you know, that, ah, oh, that's driving me crazy. And so Dee Dee said, go get your damn eyes checked. So I said, okay, Dee Dee, I'm going. Have you been to the newer Hobby Lobby in Harrison, Arkansas? Where's Harrison, Norma? There's some, some nice stores down that, um, Bentonville quarter too, from Bentonville to um, oh down to Fayetteville and down in there. There's some good stores there. So I have gone blind two separate times. It was very hard. I'm thankful for what side I have left. See, Melody, I, yeah, I think that would just be so so hard. So good on you that you have some sight left. I think it's just that would be so hard to deal with. My husband not Robert, my, my husband that passed away was blind in one eye after his um, brain tumor. And that was hard um, for him and for both of us. But yeah, even being blind in one eye is hard. It's about 30 minutes drive south of Branson in Arkansas. Okay, then I've probably been down there. Yeah, don't sass Didi, are you kidding? $2.99, you say 14 bucks. No lie. Good on you, Jean. What was the sale price of that paint? Um, the Master's Touch, um, and I'm sure this is a weekly ad, so it, it's going to be on sale probably until next Sunday, Saturday, because um, Hobby Lobby do, is not open on Sunday. The It's just the Master's Touch brand. I've never used it. So I, I can't tell you that it's great paint or not, but compared to um, it's going to be better than your craft paint for sure. Um, the small tubes are on sale for $2. So that tube is $2 and it's quite a bit. Let me see if it gives you a volume here. 120 milliliter or 4.1 fluid ounces. So it's, it's quite a lot of paint. And then the big ones, I mean, these are big mama jambas. Um, normally $7, so you get this one for $3. And actually, this is a much better deal, I think, because it's $250, 8.5. Yeah, so this is actually a better deal. But I didn't think I needed these Mamba Jamba because now I have to figure out where to put them, you know? Yeah. So diabetes, you had double organ transplant that cured my diabetes, but the damage has been done. Oh, bless you, Melody. Man, you have gone through it, haven't you? Master's Touch is good quality paint for pores. Okay, that's good to know. See, Melody, sorry about the damage, but yay for the cure. See, that's just it. You've got to be thankful for what you've got on any given day. You miss color. Huh. You're just starting. My brother has diabetes, so we deal with it. 
you know, I deal with it a little bit from afar, but yeah, that, it's vicious. Diet, diet, diet. So anyway, those were my fun purchases today. I, I, I don't think I spent 30 bucks. Maybe I did, but I don't think so. Um, and now we won't be going back for at least two weeks. So I won't get my glasses for two weeks. Um, we'll go back for Robert's um, next follow-up appointment then. So anyway, it was so much fun. And I have so much stuff. I'm excited about the book. I'm going to go plop my butt on the couch and finish reading this. I Look at all the books I have to look at and read. Oh, I'm so lucky. What did I do with my white paint? Oh, there it is. I can lose things that are sitting right in front of me. But look at this much fun stuff I have to go look at now. I'm going to go put on power lounging clothes. The world only exists in your eyes, and you can make it as big or as small as you want. There you go. And actually, that's in your mind. Fill in each circle with what you have room for. People, activities, feelings. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Oscar Wilde. Draw a portion of yourself using colors and patterns that reflect who you are. Oh, that's a challenge. In the midst of winter, I found there was within me an invincible summer. That's the eternal optimist right there. There's always strength in the deepest of places. Draw the source of your strength here. Hmm. I know what I will draw there. I took a deep breath and listened to the old bray of my heart. I am, I am, I am. Huh. Breathe deep and think about your place in the universe. Think about how the particles you're made of are the same particles that make up the earth, the moon, the stars. You are. Oh, this is an awesome book. I knew who I was this morning, but I've changed a few times since then. That's what I feel like some days, especially after a day streaming with Eileen. So... I'm about ready to call it a day. Think of a major transformation you've been through and chronicle it here. The Probably the biggest transformation I ever made was taking care of Jim. Norma, again, thank you so much. I just, I can't say thank you enough. You're so kind and generous. So I guess I'll see you guys at Dee Dee's in the morning. And then hopefully Joycey is streaming. Joycey's here. She can tell us right now. Well, she may not know how she's going to feel tomorrow, though, either. Um, but I hope you stream tomorrow, Joycey, because I don't have any other plans. So I'll be able to be there and harass Eileen for you. Um, yeah, I'm glad you could be here, too, Quilty. All right, you guys, go get a good night's sleep, and we'll see you at Dee Dee's in the morning. Sweet dreams. Love you guys. God bless you.